Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ishan and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got quite an informative video. It's going to be about risk management for prop trading. So these are, the, these are a few things I've learned along the way in my trading uh, journey and uh, maybe you guys can take some value from it. So these are a few aspects that I believe are key. So first of all, why is risk management so important? So in my opinion, this is my opinion, I believe risk management is key for protecting your capital. So, you know, you have strict rules to protect your capital. And, you know, with these strict rules, um, it can also cut out the emotions in trading. So instead of being, you know, so anxious, you know, with your trading and uh, waiting for it to hit your stop loss or, you know, you don't know um, what to do with the trade when you're in the trade, uh, having strict risk management rules can take out that emotion. So yeah, that's why I believe risk management is key to your trading. One of the aspects I believe is key for your trading is determining how much you're going to risk per trade. So is it going to be a fixed risk? Is it going to be 1% of your capital per trade? Is it going to be a fixed risk? Or is it going to be um, a trade where it can either be um, between 0.5% risk or 2% of your capital? So determining your risk per trade is very key. So have that down and have that sorted out and back testing, back testing can really help you out with that. Now your stop loss. You gotta determine is your stop loss gonna be something that can't be fixed because of your trading style? You know, do you trade according to pure market structure? So, you know, you need to, when you're buying something, you can't have the stop loss at a fixed stop loss. You know, you gotta have it below the low low. Um, is it gonna be a fixed stop loss? So it's gonna be stuck at 14 pips per trade for a particular pair. So you need to determine what your stop loss is going to be. And as I said before, back testing can help you out with this. Now your lot size. Now, so we just spoke about the risk per trade, whether you're gonna have a fixed risk per trade or if it's gonna be uh, within falling into a range of let's say 0.5 to 2%. And we also spoke about if you're gonna have a fixed stop loss, you know, in terms of pips. So you're gonna have a 14, 15 pip stop loss, or you're gonna have something that is variable, whether it's gonna range from 15 to 25 pips. We spoke about that. So with those details, you can actually calculate your lot size, which is, which is, which is very, very important. So to calculate your lot size, you can use an app called FX Calculators. So let me hop onto that right now. So right now I'm on an app called FX Calculators that can help me determine the lot size uh, for that trade, particular trade. So over here, you just press position size. And in the example I'm showing right now, we have 80 JPY. So I'm gonna enter my account size, then the amount per risk. So you gotta switch this to percentage and I'm risking 1% per trade. So I'm having a fixed uh, risk. And then my stop loss is 14 pips. And when you have all these details, you can use the standard lot. So the position, the lot size for my trade would be 3.2, uh, 3.93 or 3.92, um, whatever you feel comfortable with. So that is how you calculate the lot size. So I hope, that is beneficial to you. Now you're in the trade, you've determined your stop loss and you've put your lot size and uh, that is done. But what are you gonna do during the trade? You gotta have fixed risk management rules during the trade, the trade management rules. So are you going to move your stop loss to break even after it hits one R? Are you gonna take partial profits once it hits two R? So these are things you need to figure out through back testing. So, determining what you're going to do with your stop loss and also um, whether you're gonna take partial profits, this is something that needs to be determined and has to be written down in your risk management trading plan. So I hope you enjoyed this video and took some value from it. Maybe you learned a thing or two and you can up your risk management game. Maybe you already know this kind of stuff and uh, it's just a refresher for you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.